In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add your TUI devices into Home Assistant. Check it out. What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. So a quick video today and I'll just be running through how you can get your TUI devices into Home Assistant. Now if you're not familiar with TUI and you use the Smart Life app, they're actually the same thing. So Smart Life is just an unbranded version of TUI and they're actually made by the same company. So it's the same thing, but just Smart Life has no TUI branding. If you didn't know, TUI is a company that create a wide range of IoT products, things like door sensors, cameras, motion sensors, just anything you'd use in a smart home. And they offer Wi-Fi or Zigbee versions of their products. In addition to all of their products, they also host a cloud service, which many other smart home devices can connect to. And from this service, you can access your devices through the cloud. So you can use the to your cloud to access your devices while you're away from home. If you've been watching my navigating home assistant for beginners videos, you've probably noticed that the demo that we use in that is quite empty. So the idea behind today's video is to just quickly get a few devices added in so that in the future, when we use that demo to cover things like automations, node red, just anything like that, we're going to have actual devices we can use to make those examples a bit easier and clearer to understand. We're back here on our lovely demo dashboard. So let's get those devices added. First things first then, we're gonna to go to configuration down here. And then we're gonna go into integrations. From here then, we're gonna just click this add integration button here. And we're just gonna do a search for Tuya. And in this box that pops up, it's gonna ask us for our username, password, country code, and app that we use to register the devices. So let's go ahead and fill those in. So we'll put our email in, we'll type our password in. Now the country code is obviously specific to the country that you're in. And if you don't know what your country code is, I'll leave a link to this website below, but it's just countrycode.org. And from here, you can just view all the different countries. So do a search for your country and it will have your code. I'll do a search for mine, so I'm in the UK. You can type that in and then you'll have your country code just here in the big blue box. I'm 44 and we'll just jump back to our home assistant here and I'll just type in that as 44. Then just below, we're going to press the drop down menu here and we're just going to choose the app that we used. At the beginning, I mentioned that Tuya and Smart Life are the same. Jinvu Smart is also the same. They all run on Tuya. So if you use any of these different apps, just choose the one that you actually registered your devices with in this list here. And in my particular case, I use Smart Life. So I'm just going to go ahead and press Smart Life here. We can then just go ahead and press the submit button. Once you've pressed submit, you should hopefully see this success message. And from here, you should be able to see any devices that you've registered to your, to your account. And also you should be able to see any scenes that you've created within the app. We can then just press finish. We can see that from above here, my two year integration has been added and I can see I've got 26 devices with 26 entities. Now don't worry if this number seems low, if you've got a whole bunch of devices in your two year. There could be a few reasons why this number is low. The first being that it hasn't managed to pull all of the devices down yet. So just give that a couple of minutes and Home Assistant will start pulling those in. And the second reason could be that this actual two year integration is limited to what can actually come through into Home Assistant. So a couple of examples of devices that can be added into your two year app, but not actually come through to Home Assistant are things like a robotic vacuum and a diffuser. If you press on the three dots above here on the two year integration, there's an option then for documentation. So if you visit that documentation, it will tell you all the information about this two-year integration and it will go into more details about those things that are and aren't supported. Let's jump into my integration then and see what devices I've had come through. From here then, we can see all of my devices that have come through and we can tell what the device is based on the model. So we can see I've got a few different switches, a few scenes, some lights, and if we jump into one of these, let's take the lamp, for example, which is a switch. We can see there the lamp and there's a little toggle for it. So we could just toggle that on and off. And that's actually turning the lamp on and off behind me. One quick thing I want to just show you is that with the entities, when you add these in through to you, Home Assistant's going to just randomly give each of these entities an ID. Now, this ID is unique to each device, but it's going to be quite hard to remember. So when you want to reference these things in your automations, and in node red, you're gonna to have to know what this big long ID is. So I'll show you an example of that now. So we've got my lamp here. And if we just click on that, this is the current ID for that lamp. So it's this big long string and I'm not gonna remember what that is. 
So what you can do is come in here and you can give the entity an ID that you're going to remember and you can just call this whatever you want, use whatever kind of naming scheme works for you. So it's currently switch dot and I'm just going to call this one lamp and I'm just going to press update then. So that's updated and if I come back into it now we can see switch dot lamp. When I'm actually writing an automation or reference in this I can actually just now write switch dot lamp which is easier than switch dot massive long string. And if you do this from the beginning with all your devices, in the long run, it's going to make it easy for you because you're going to have entity IDs that you recognize and you can use. Now, you don't have to do this, but I would advise it because it makes it way easier in the long run. And if at a later date you come back and decide you want to change it then, you can always do that. But by then, if you've already started creating automations or adding these devices and entities to your dashboard, when you update the ID here, it's going to break all of those things. So it's easier if you do it from the beginning and save you less hassle down the road. And there we go guys, that's a quick way that you can add Tuya into your Home Assistant. Now that we've got all these devices added, any demos that I do using this Home Assistant demo in the future should be a bit clearer because we've got actual data and entities that we can use. If you've enjoyed this video, then press that subscribe button and if you've ding dong the little notification bell, you'll be alerted to any future videos that I bring out. Can I just say a massive thank you to everyone that's given me support and feedback so far. I've been creating videos now for just under two months and I've got plenty more content planned. There's going to be more home assistant things, there's going to be more tech and more videos where I just try and, you know, teach you things. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. How did I miss the word two out? Add to your home assistant. Maybe it's because I read it as like, add to you, yeah. If you notice that the word two is missing, then you're awesome.